Hello guys and welcome to episode 13 of the RJB's Let's Play series. Um, last episode we went ahead and built this train station and the greenhouse and then off camera, oh and also we started building the hangars and off camera I finished them. Off camera I also went around and put the windows and all the towers. So here's the hangars and what they look like. I built all of them off camera. Um, I believe that is the only thing I did off camera. Um, but here we are. This thing is still running. I have, this is not long after the last episode, so this thing hasn't gotten too far. It's uh, still at 115,000. But as you can see up here, we are now at the EMC level to go ahead and make the final um, final star, I think it's called. Something like that. So I wanted to go ahead and go ahead and craft that on here so you guys can see it. Oh, wow. We had... Whoops. I did not mean to do that. So here we are. There it is. Final star shard. Boom. All right. So let's go to one of our collector things. And just go ahead and knock the top one off. Top one's fine. It doesn't really matter. And we will. Boom. There you go. Now we should be making. We're making 1.05 trillion. All right. So this episode, what the plan is, is to go ahead and um, move all this stuff and uh, let the, let this digital miner finish. But I just wanted to go ahead and get that part of the episode out of the way of crafting that thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away for a little while and AFK, let this thing finish. And then when I come back, what we'll do is we'll clean all this stuff up. We'll move these chests down there, you know, light up down there and all that stuff. And then um, then we'll start uh, the moving of this stuff and probably moving that stuff over there down there. But I'll be back after this digital miner finishes and... I'll see you then. Hello guys, I'm back. Um, so I said I was going to come back when the digital miner finished, but it's still running. It's at 77,000 now. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update on some stuff real quick. So off camera, I mean, you can see how much EMC we have. We're at 542 quadrillion. I went ahead and made the first final power flower. So now we're making 78 trillion. And I've been upgrading this one. But uh, that's not why I wanted to come back. As you can see in my inventory, I got a lot of stuff. Now, what we have been made, remember what we've been working towards trying to grind all this EMC for is this transmutation interface. So now that we have the stuff to craft it, I wanted to go ahead and come back and show you guys. So here we go. We need four of these. Whoops. And you got to craft them all separately. And then we need this. Oh, you need Mark twos, don't you? Hold up. So yeah, we need Mark two. So we need 16 red matter and 16 dark matter blocks and do I even have dark matter yeah I do okay all right and then we need another final star so uses let's upgrade these boom and then there we go now we have that so now I don't actually know how this works but what I'm assuming is just do that nope um, I have to check how it's used real quick. Uses inventory. Oh, I think I need a. Oh, that's hard to break too. I think I need a interface. So let's go interface. Yeah, I think I ne might need one of these. Real quick, I'll check what I'll need. I'm going to go into my uh, uh, creative test world. I'm going to check what I need to make this work. And then uh, I'll come back and I'll tell you guys what I needed. All right, guys, I'm back. And what I need is a storage. Oh, external storage is what it's called. External. Whoopsie. Storage. So I need one of these. Can't even see it because of the background. Yeah, we need one of these. So we need a destruction core. Oh, whoops. Oh, what did I do with my thing? Eh, for now. So we need a destruction core, an improved core, or improved processor, and an obstruction core. So let's go processor. What else we need? We need a cable, a coarse enriched iron cable. How do we not have cables? Okay, we'll get those in just a second. Coarse and wrist iron and then two chests. 
How much quartz and wrist iron? Three. And then two chests. All right, how do you make the cable? I might have never made this. Quartz and wrist iron, glass, and redstone dust. One, two, three, four, five, six. Glass. Whoops. Glass. One, two. And then redstone dust. All right, let's go in here. Boom on that. Hey, achievement get. Achievement get. So we'll put that in there. We can put those away. So now all I should have to do is this. Boom. There we go. I'm descending by, by quantity. A descending. All right, so I have two billion of all these items, apparently. So that's how that works. So now we don't need a transmutation table no more, but a whatever. And then if we put stuff in here, it should go into EMC. So the transmutation table, we'll leave right there because there's nothing really to do with it. So now anytime I need something, I can just go in here. And also if I want to craft something, say I want to craft this, I can just, there you go. Easy. So there's that. Also, there's this bug sometimes when I load up the world, it does this. Little bugs. That's why the pack's not released yet. But uh, anyway, I remember in the last part of the, the opening part of the episode, I said I was going to move those. I'm not going to move that setup yet. But I am going to move all the stuff in here down there once this thing's finished. All these chests. And we'll do this stuff on camera. And uh, all that. That way we can build this building. That's the only reason I want to move this stuff. So that'll be what we do later in the episode. So once this finishes, I'll come back. We'll light up down there, then we'll move all this stuff down there, except for these chests. We won't move these because this is just stuff that doesn't have EMC that's coming out of the storage thing, except for some stuff sometimes makes it out. But um, that's what we'll do. We'll come back once this thing is finished, which I don't know how long it's going to take. And uh, we'll dag on, move all the stuff, and then build this building. So whenever that happens, I'll come back and um, we'll do all that stuff. Okay, guys. Um. I'm back real quick. Real, uh, I just want to go over something else real quick. I've been, you know, looking around through stuff while I've been waiting for the uh, digital miner to finish. And, um, oh yeah, I broke this a while ago. I forgot about that. I should probably, uh, break that. Oh. There are a lot of water buckets. Anyway, um, I was going through things, and since we now have the final EM EMC link right here, um, what we, what I can do is just simply put this right here and then get a water bucket like this and then click on that so now it says it's set to do water bucket but it's actually what it's going to do is um what's it called oh it's already set the output so it'll output water out of that so we no longer need this whole setup here so let me mine all this but uh anyway um I've been looking through the EMC things, so I've crafted a couple things. As you can see right here, this is infinite steak, and it um, just uses your EMC as food instead of making you, um, instead of like having to go and do everything, uh, what's it called? Like instead of having to keep going and getting more food, you can just use your EMC, so it'll last forever, and just use your EMC anytime you try to eat. And then there's another one called infinite fuel, and I have it in my furnaces right now. But it just uses your EMC as fuel. Oh, I'm going to need that. And I'll run over there and show you that real quick. Did I mine all this? We'll come back and get the water wheel stuff up in a second. But that thing still is, it's still got like 70 something thousand left. It's taking a little while. But uh, we can just put all this in here. But there's the infinite fuel. So if you put something in there, it'll just, uh, I'll just smelt it and it'll use your fuel, your EMC as fuel. And it says on it how much it uses. So it uses 128. The food uses 64. So I went ahead and crafted those things to use so to kind of keep me from having to keep getting food and stuff. But um, real quick, uh, I'm going to do the same thing I keep saying I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for the digital miner to finish. If I find something else I want to show you guys while I'm just playing with stuff, um, I'll come back and show you that. But I'm going to clean up this water wheel and then wait for the digital miner to finish. And whenever it finally finishes, we'll come back and we'll move all that stuff down there and build that building over there. So whenever that's done, I'll come back. Okay, guys, we're back again. Um, this thing still has not finished, but what I did was just I took everything that was here, moved it into this chest, and then I took the big reactor and moved it over here. Just set it up over here temporarily. 
so it's going i also upgraded the collector on top of it to a final one absolutely no reason to do that but as you can see up here we have 7.2 quintillion con quintillion emc now so i mean it's not like not like we're hurting on emc so i just went ahead and upgraded that but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and build this building now because uh it's like the last structure that really needs to be built within the compound so i kind of want to get it built and then the crane is the next thing but uh for this building i kind of want it to be like an industrial looking house kind of if that makes sense but i want it to be recessed into the ground so i have all my building blocks right here so what i'm thinking is we go one two three four um actually hold up it would be like it would be like this uh oh i didn't save a slot in my inventory there we go so we'll like recess it into the ground like this so one two three then obviously we'll dig this up oh yeah let me make sure i have some inventory slots open all right we'll put the back down so basically what i'm what i'm talking about when i say like an industrial looking house is i want it to be like it's the house of the compound but i want it to have an industrial theme like feel or vibe or whatever get these out okay let's see we're kind of gonna use the same blurk palette that's over here whoops not those these all right so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna obviously hold off on this area for just a little bit it doesn't have a whole super lot left. See, it's only got like 9,000. If I keep resetting it and starting it because like gravel falls, obsidian gets made, things like that. So it needs to mine that as well. But we'll get it knocked out. Let me put some torches down. That's probably way too many, but it's okay. I'd rather have too many than not enough. And we'll redo our lighting layout on the base at some point like with uh hanging lights and things like that all right so now we just need to i'm gonna go all the way around this real quick and uh mark all this out so that's what i'm gonna do here we're just gonna oh that's trippy hold up put that away put that away you know we don't need this many stairs right now all right, so let's just boop, boop, boop. But yeah, this um, this is gonna be. It's gonna be a two-story. Well, I don't wanna. I don't wanna build that up yet. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do here. We're just kind of trace it here. Trace the tower, cause I remember this is gonna be the stairway to go to the second one. And I have a little reference image I found, and that's what I'm gonna use. But it's going to be like a two-story house where the second story is smaller than the first. And that's the little theme plan or whatever that I have for it so far. Not a lot, but it's a working plan, so it'll work, you know. I don't know what that noise was. I heard a loud noise. I'm gonna put this blue wool back because I'm not ready to do the bases of these things yet. All right. So, other than this little section right here. All right. Where's my, there it is. I was about to say, where's my bricks at? So this tower is going to be obviously part of the wall, but uh, that's no biggie. It's actually probably a good thing. So I'm going to have this whole build recessed into the ground. Obviously from the ocean side, you won't really be able to tell that it's recessed because you just see the wall. You don't see that it's into the ground. And from this side, really, you can't tell either except for this little doorway right here. So what I'm thinking is, let me get some warp doors. I'm going to continue using this stuff. This is just going to kind of be a word vomit rest of the episode, to be honest with you guys. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. 
Oh yeah, we can't place the doors yet. We need to go ahead and replace the floor. Again, we'll leave that right there, that little section right there for now. Since it's incomplete in the digging process. All right. So we'll knock all this out. And we will We'll clean our inventory out for a second. We'll place this throughout the whole thing. Keeping with the... We can change this block, actually. Keeping with the same thing that we had in the other buildings and the other stuff on the... in the base. Or in the compound. So we need to remember... I'm going to just put cobblestone outlines right now. This is our... There'll be a wall there as well. That'll be our doorway. So, doo -doo -doo. real quick, we'll just knock this floor out and then, whoops. Basically that little area is gonna be the same as the rest of the building. I think it's just gonna be a little stubby, like a little short building on the outside just tall enough on the inside for it to be the elevator holder the elevator at resting area or whatever you want to call it but yeah and then this is going to be obviously the tower is going to be the same height as the however tall the building is which i'm thinking only two stories i want to keep it shorter than the tower that it's hooked to that way the tower like still towers over it or whatever and then Alright, let's slap some more torches down. Alright, so we can remove this. And then we'll get these. So let's just put this real quick. So I'm thinking we want the door to be in the corner like this. What do we think of that? That doesn't really look all that good. Maybe right here. Maybe we actually make this uneven. Hold up. Hold. Like asymmetrical. Or not asymmetrical. Whatever it is. Where it's like not, not symmetrical. What did I do for the door on this side? It's on the inside. I kind of want to keep the build and the builds pretty similar. So what about something like that? We go down into the compound. All right. So then I'll just need to build it up two stories tall. So real quick, what I'm going to do is build the building up to the height it'll be. So I'll finish the first floor and then put like a little marker of where the floor in between will be. And then I'll build the second floor. That way the walls are as tall as they need to be. And then I'll come back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I have the entire walls built up. So this is what I'm looking at. You know, the building ends right there. There's the tower, you know. And then obviously this will be where the staircase is. And where the cobblestone is is where the floor will be. So it's kind of tall first floor. And then the second story is like four blocks tall. I use the windows as a guide. And you see the windows kind of high in here. It's because I wanted the window to be like this out here. So that's how that is. But uh, real quick, I'm just going to, you know, throw a little awning over this, I think. Mm. That gets kind of low kind of fast. Is that too low? What about if I do it like this? How does that look? I think we can work with that. I think I would rather it all be at that same level, though. I would just make it all the same level. It doesn't have to look like it slows down. All right. Ooh. Okay. So there's that in their entrance area. This might change or something. I'm not necessarily super satisfied with it yet, so there's always a chance that I change it, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. 
All right, I've made this. This is four blocks tall, so the elevator can fit in there. Obviously, the elevator door will be right here. Uh, let me give you guys a little sneak peek of what's going down down there. Anyway, so this is where the staircase is going to be. So I'm thinking we start it right here in this corner. Just like that. And then go up to here. Actually, we're not going to be having, we're not going to have room to do too wide. All right, so we'll go up to that. Let's get our, we'll probably want some andesite slabs. If I have any. No, we want cut andesite slabs. All right, we'll go snag some real quick. We have our little thing right here. Okay, now we've learned those. I think slabs will look the best, but we'll have to see once we get the staircase built. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, we'll get it placed right eventually. And then last stair. Perfect. It faces that way. And then obviously, the floor will be this. Cut in the site. So maybe we can do that without it looking weird. Mm, maybe uh, upside down stair here. No. Maybe we do a slab there. Some slab here. That works. Maybe even a slab there. Uh, I don't really want to do the slabs because the floor is not going to be slabs. The floor is going to be whole blocks. Maybe we just slap right there. Hmm. We'll just slap those two and we'll get the whole blocks back out. We can go up there and place this actually. So here's going to be the floor height. We can go ahead and add in the floor. Now, obviously, we're going to polish this up as we go. It'll end up looking good, I believe. You know, add windows, all that kind of stuff. Knock out this cobblestone. I think we're going to have to change the bottom layer of that little wall that goes across to this. I didn't even think about that when I put it like that. Hey, it's okay, though. We can change that. No biggie. No biggie. So this is what I'm thinking. I need to find something to do with this little corner right here where it goes in right there. I might do something with that. Let me torch it up up here. Whoops. So there's that. I don't know if we'll do anything in that back area right there or if we'll just go like this. That's a good question. Do we do something back there? We'll have to think about that. Maybe you guys can comment and see what we want to do back there. Do I not have any? Oh, yeah, I'm about to say, I was like, do I not have any cut in the Good gracious. Okay, that looks good. I think that looks better, honestly. We'll see, we'll see. Makes the stairs the stairs look thicker, I guess. Which is good, in my opinion. Was that a stair like this? Yeah, it was. That means we need a stair like that. So technically this one needs to face like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that right there. 
That doesn't look too bad. What I think we'll do with this is we'll just come up with the one of these. That goes all the way up. I'm going to slap a roof on this joker. And obviously, the roof will need to be torched or whatever. But also, this building, we are also not going to be doing the inside. So... That'll wait. That'll have to wait a little bit because I don't really know what I want to do on the inside of any of these buildings yet. So we'll have to wait on that one. Keep my inventory somewhat organized. But yeah, I'll be thinking of what I want to do in this corner right here. If it wasn't so close to our tower, it already is, I could do a tower. I don't know. We'll have to think what we want to do in this corner where it juts out randomly. Or we could just leave it and not even do nothing. Well, we'll have to think about that. I did just think, though, that um, the roof needs to be stone bricks. But I can't do that because... Huh. Did I do it tall enough to do three, four? Oh, yeah, I did do it tall enough to do that. Okay. So this doesn't matter. So I did do it tall enough all around? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So we may just do a little... Fuck, I don't know what we'll do. I'll just put the roof where it should be. Let me get up there. It should be right here. Not a lot of color in this build, but we'll definitely try to break that up with um, a little bit of the windows and stuff. But here, after I get this place, we'll step back and we'll see what the build looks like. This might be something that's a working project. Because, like, I'm not, I have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't know how well this is going to be. I might have to make the whole building one taller. That way I can have two layers in between the floors. One for the roof layer and one for the floor layer. That's probably what I'm end up having to do. Something like that. Anyway, let's take a step back and gander at it and see what it looks like. And yeah, it looks boxy, but that's kind of how I want it to look, to be honest. And obviously, all this stuff's in the way, so you can't really get a good look. But yeah, it looks boxy, but I think it'll look better once we get windows in it and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's go pop a few windows up there. In the top part especially. Oh, there's no torches in this. So what we want to do, like three, three wide bay windows maybe. We can do four wide. We'll do four wide bay windows. Or whatever they're called. They might not be called bay windows. I'm not sure. All right. I could have this function as some type of lookout tower, maybe. Mm, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. For now, I'm not going to put anything here. All right. And let's do this side the same way. And then... So we'll do two wide ones right here. Alrighty. I was debating putting a roof on this building, but I think I want it to be a flat roof. Like it's an industrial building. So this one needs to be moved. We'll do the same thing here. 
I would do a three wide window. Like that, no windows there. Oops. We'll just do a four wide right here. Oh, this is five wide. Yeah, that works too. Right, we won't do the back windows yet because we can't see those from out here. So we'll take a gondola again. Oh, see that already makes it look better. So that looks good. That does. I like that. Probably can add a window right here. Just one little window like that. Just so it doesn't look so plain. Step back. I may, may make the little drop down on the inside of the building instead of on the outside. Leave that little corner cut out, but raise it up and then have the inside of the building drop down instead of the outside. I'm not sure yet. But I actually don't mind that. The only thing I need to decide is if I want to put a roof on that building. I think I do because it needs a little splash of color on the roof. So I might put a spruce roof on it. So let's go. What kind of spruce roof would we do though? Let's hop up there and we'll find out. Probably not a big A-frame roof. Probably more of a like a slanted kind of roof, maybe. Maybe slant the roof like that way. That's not a bad idea. Hold up. Where is my cobblestone? Alright, that's what we'll do. So we'll make one side of the building taller, I guess. Ooh, but how are we going to slant it? I think I know how we'll do it. So we'll go up like... Well, fuck. We need to... We'll start from this side and then we'll slant it. So we want the slant to be end. Um, in like right here. Whoops, not there. Damn. Just in case we need some more of that. Alright, so the slant can end right here. I do reckon. Yeah. Or do we want to not do that? Huh. Do we want the slant to come off that part since it's the main part? And we just, yeah, 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 hold up, I have an idea. We'll do the exact same thing we just did, but off of this part of the building. This is gonna look weird for just a second, but I think I, I think it'll look all right once it's done. And then we just knock that part off. And then you're gonna want a little overhang. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then just kind of start going up. The only place you have to kind of figure it out is places like that. This roof might be too complicated. Yeah, I might be doing too much right now. Here, let me... We'll do the main part of the roof. Hold up. Do I want to do a slant now at this point? That I get so complicated? Hmm. Let me... Let me go sleep real quick. A slant wouldn't be bad. We would just have to figure out how to pull it off. I think I have a better idea. Hold on one second. We could do it like two at a time. I don't know. I think we'll leave it flat for now. You guys can comment down below and think and say what you think. But the episode is kind of getting long, so I think we're going to have to end it there. But uh, 
at least we got the building built. Oh, let me take out these little things so we can look at it one more time. You guys can comment if you think it needs a roof or not. I'll try to think of all design off off camera or off, off stream or whatever and see if I can't come up with something messing around or whatever. But uh, for now, I think that's good. The building actually looks really good in my opinion. Let's get a chest to put these building blocks in. But the only thing I'm thinking is I might change this area to be raised up to the normal ground level and then have you go through the door so obviously the door will be one higher and then it goes down on the inside i think that would look a little better because it looks kind of weird going down like that but the building looks good all right i like the look of the building it's kind of the compoundy industrial style building i wanted it to be I feel like it matches the tower that's connected to very well so there's the building anyway um next episode we're going to continue working on this and finish it by next episode, this thing should very well be done. I mean, see, it's got, you know, 4,400 left. So it'll definitely be done. So in between episodes, um, I'll probably move the create stuff down there. We'll clean the, I'll clean that up. I'll get the digital miner out. And I'll move the big reactor down there. And then I'll run a power cable up here through the ground to this stuff over here. So that I can just leave that there for right now until we get the bunker really figured out. But I'll move all these chests down there. I don't think I'll set any of the create machines up, but I'll move them down there. And uh, then I will come back next episode. We'll work on this building off camera. I'm also going to try to figure out the crane because remember we wanted to create crane that moves. And I just haven't decided, I haven't figured out if that works or not. But I'll figure out something out. If there's not, a, if I can't make a create crane move, we'll just build a crane that's a stationary one just for the aesthetic of the build. But yeah, so that's what we'll do. Um, come back next episode, finish this, work on the crane. I'm going to move everything in between episodes. But uh, anyway, this was um, the RJB with another episode of the RJB Let's Play series. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and follow, uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below. We're still working on uh, getting names for the bunker. If anyone wants to be in the bunker, you can still comment that. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, see you next time.